How's it going folks? Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. In this video, we take a look at new iOS 18.2 developer beta 3 features and also iPadOS 18.2 developer beta 3. You don't want to miss this. Check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. How's it going folks? iOS 18.2 developer beta three is now out and it features build number 22C5131E. Okay, so with camera control, normally when your screen is off, it takes two presses of the camera control button to launch the camera app. So of course the camera control button is found on all iPhone 16 models. And if you go to settings, camera, camera control, you can configure it to launch the camera app of your choice. New to iOS 18.2 developer beta three is this new option under display and brightness require screen on. So basically launching a camera app with camera control requires the screen to be on to do so with one press of the camera control button. But if you disable that option, you can see here that you can launch the camera app even when the screen is off with one press of the camera control button, just like that. Now, while that's cool, to me, this is the feature that most people are going to really appreciate the updated interface when playing back videos in the Photos app. So here it is on the previous version of iOS. You can see when you tap on the screen, it zooms in or zooms out. And when it zooms in, you notice that all of your previews for the other photos and videos disappears, right? But here in the updated version, you can see that when you're in full screen view, first of all, it automatically defaults to that full screen view, right? But more importantly, all of your image previews for your other photos and videos still appears superimposed on top of your video. So you can still scrub between different photos and videos, even when it's in that so-called full screen view. Now iOS used to work like this, but they changed it in iOS 18. So it's nice to have that functionality back. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Now, another feature you're gonna notice in iOS 18.2 developer beta three is when you open up the copy paste menu, when highlighting text, you're gonna notice that writing tools appear on the first section. So you no longer have to scrub through that list of the menu items to get to writing tools. It appears on that very first section for easy access and interaction with writing tools. Now, another thing you'll notice if you go into settings accessibility, in the previous uh, beta version, you notice that camera control, it had like a placeholder label. So that has been fixed now in developer beta three. And in the last beta, you got the option to change double click speed for launching your favorite camera app. Now also what was featured in the previous beta was the share item location feature. So this isn't new, this was on the previous beta, like I said, but we got some more information about how this is gonna work. So you notice that it talked about sharing your location with an airline or a trusted person. The, the idea of sharing it with a person was very obvious, like you just copy the link, you use your share sheet, you send it to a trusted person and they can track your item location on their device. So I demonstrated that in the previous video that we did on beta two, but here again, you see share item location, and if you paste that link on another phone, like this one right here, and you sign in, you're going to be able to track that. You can see where it says visit by, and you'll see that change to one person since I visited that link. But what's new, what we learned today was just a little bit more detail on the partnership that Apple has with airlines. So Apple published a press release today that details the share item location feature. And it really talked about the, the airlines. There's more than 15 airlines that Apple has partnered with to make this thing a reality. And it will be launching soon with iOS 18.2, presumably sometime in December. And Apple also noted that it would work with AirTags or Find My Network accessories from third parties. And it will be available as a free update. And the earliest phone that it will work with is the iPhone 10s. So you can see a free software update for 10s or later. But the real interesting part of this press release was the amount of airlines and the, the names of the various airlines that Apple has partnered with. So you see some pretty big airlines on this list, including British Airways, Delta Airlines, United, 
Uh, you have Royal Dutch Airlines. You have various other ones on here, but noticeably missing, no Southwest, no Spirit Airlines. So uh, the budget carriers apparently aren't on board just quite yet, but you can expect more in the future. And here's a, a screenshot that Apple released as well, showing the tracking functionality within the Find My app for an AirTag. Now jumping over to iPad OS 18, one of the cool new features is the customizable tab bars. So for instance, here in the music app, you have this tab bar at the top that displays when you hide the sidebar and it elegantly disappears when you show the sidebar, just like that. But the cool thing about this is that you can customize that tab view and you can customize it by dragging tabs out of the tab bar like that, or you can drag items from the edit menu in the sidebar to the tab bar like that and customize it. So if you want TV and movies and download it, you can do that. So just go ahead and tap done. And now when I hide the sidebar, you can see those customized tabs just like that. So that's really cool, but there's one problem. It doesn't appear in the TV app, which would definitely benefit from a customizable tab bar. But here in the latest iOS beta, you can see even the, the little icon has been updated and now you have that customized tab bar just like that in the TV app, which is great, right? Because there's all these different sections, there's different channels that can be integrated. So it really makes a lot of sense to be able to go in and edit like this and customize that tab bar. So I'm just gonna drop 4K HDR. We're gonna add in PBS video. You can even move it around like that and reorder it. Here's sports and I don't know, let's add 4K HDR back there and let's add another. And then you just tap done and we'll hide the sidebar. And there's the tab bar. You'll notice a little arrow on the right hand side. So you can access all the rest of the items there that can't fit into that one view. So that's a really nice update for the TV app on iPad OS 18.2 beta three. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What do you think about these changes? What do you think about the updated camera control option that allows you to launch the camera app with one press of the camera control button, even when your screen is off? Let me know down below in the comment section and be sure to check out these other videos for more. This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac.